may recall that a couple of months ago, I took the Forerunner out for its first off-roading adventure. There it is. Hell yeah, hell yeah. It was certainly exciting and fun, but not without consequences. This was the biggest consequence. I took it as an opportunity to beef up the protection and I opted to replace them with the Smittybilt SRC side armor. I ordered them through four wheel parts and about five weeks later, I was able to pick them up at a local shop. The first problem, how do I unload them? The pair weigh more than I do and I can't lift my body weight. But I can lift half my body weight. The next order of business is taking the old ones off. To avoid a head injury, I'm going to need an extra pair of hands while I remove them. I thought about using my jack, but that just seemed a little too unstable. Socket. Check. Okay. One. <laughs> Put my whole body into it. Kick your legs a little bit. side so the brackets are probably bent up and it might be more of a challenge. We shall see. Now that they're off you can really see where the damage is. That bracket in the middle and this is the one that was in the front. Good, bad. Oh, yeah, these are much heavier. <laughs> yeah. Bolt, lock washer, Boop. flat washer. Get in there. All right, two sets of six. Check. Logo at the rear door. Check. Oh God! <laughs> Woo! Gonna be fun.
so difficult. Oh, the bottom one. Ah, that's why I got tilted a little bit. Tilted a lot. Come on. Why does this jerk not want to get in there? Ah. Oh. <laughs> You can't even get your fingers. How does somebody's big fat fingers get in here? Tenuously held with one bolt. All right, I need an extension. when I'm under this giant piece of steel. <laughs> you know what? I hate you all. I'm just gonna have to get over here and deal with it. It's gonna land on my head, I know it. I'm gonna have to tighten the other two before I do that one. One in the front. Alright, theoretically, we can move this crate. Okay. Now let's see if we can get one of these in here. How am I supposed to get a bolt in there? Open this one again. Let's see if we can. Muscle. Finally, some progress took some manipulation to get this center one aligned. I'm sure that's why they tell you to start with the center, but if you're not a bodybuilder <laughs> and you're alone, what can you do? So it just took a minute to get these aligned. I got the one in. Now squeezing your little hand in between these, these two things, like how do people with large hands do this? I can barely fit my wee little hands in there. to get it started is a, a chore. Oh yeah, maybe. Right, I'm not super duper tight. Check alignment. I think we're all pretty so let's tighten this guy up again. Cut that one pretty loose on the end. And it says 18, torque it to 18 foot pounds, but you know what? <laughs> I sold my torque wrench years ago. I don't think I can over torque it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it as much as I can as a small human being. I think it was 18 foot pounds. I'll have to look it up. 